Outside, I told you before I this is private property. You do have to get outside. Hey, 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 Hold you on. need to step outside. Can we, we can also step outside. 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 Step so this, is, this is private service. property. Don't get them outside. Just give them a minute, okay? They're gonna. They're here Sorry. for us. I understand. Thank you. Yeah, he does need to shut that door because so, it's private here. Can, can we just move past that and yeah. try to figure this out while we're here? Yeah. Who is he? Yeah. You have no idea who he is. Okay. He doesn't. He doesn't work here. No. no. He has no. He has no business here. No. Okay. Uh, he's identified himself to me. I've got his information yeah, from his California driver's yeah. license. Okay. Well, well, either way, you know, no, no, no. no. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. you mind we talk to you? No problem. Uh, what's your name? Aaron Greenstein. Aaron? All right. Uh, what's, what's going on today? So, OpenAI is headquartered here. Yes. They're a nonprofit organization under okay. the Internal Revenue Code. Because they're a nonprofit organization, they have public disclosure requirements under federal law. One of those requirements is that if you appear at their headquarters, person to 26 U.S.C. 6104D, they are required by law immediately to provide a copy of their tax returns. So I came here as a member of the public to get a copy of their tax returns, which federal law says I am entitled to do. Okay. And they are saying that I don't have that right, which is incorrect. Did you try to contact their, their supervisors or anything? Yeah, they won't let me talk to them. Did you try calling? I called their CPAs this morning. Kind of. What did they say? They said to come here. Did they say that? Do they have a name? Uh, yes, I can tell you the name of the firm. They wouldn't let me talk to anyone there. Well, course. either way, why don't you schedule like a meet with the CPA? I'm not required to under the law. Well, the law says I can come here and get a copy immediately. Yeah, it's like post is the only I, I would actually hit on. keep more. I would just contact. So, so it kind of. As I said, I did try contact. Well, I would try to say something so it kind of ignores, or not ignores, but it would uh, prevent issues like this, right? Well, I mean, I understand that it might be more polite in some sense, but I do have the right to be here, and I do have the right to see their tax return. They are required under federal law to provide it. I can, again, give you the law. I can show you the text of the law if you like. It says. Upon request of an individual made at such principal office or such a regional district office, a copy of such annual return reports and exempt status application materials or such notice materials shall be provided to such individual without charge and other than a reasonable fee for any reproduction and mailing costs. The request described in subparagraph B must be made in person or in writing. If such request is made in person, such copy shall be provided immediately, and if made in writing, shall be provided within 30 days. So that's what it says, and that's why I'm here. And I've done this with other nonprofits of similarly important status, and there's been no problem. So I don't understand why there's a problem here. I would just suggest, I mean, to keep it civil, you know what I mean? Because you're, you're requesting their documents, and I'm not discrediting that whatever you read isn't right or anything, right? But we're kind of drawing the line of being civil with each other, right? I, I don't and think, I think I've one done year, anything that's not civil, sir. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is there a way you can just contact whoever told you to come? So, no one told me. I work for myself. You, said you just said you, you contact. Oh, I contacted their CPAs, the accounting firm. Well, the, the, is there someone you could, or whoever you contacted can get some point of contact. They're so not you going can, to. I, I wish they would do that, believe me. But well, I mean. Th this is not my responsibility to figure out how to handle the request on their side. That's their responsibility. And I'm here. 
They're a nonprofit. They don't pay taxes. And in response, in, in exchange for that, uh, you know, privilege of not having to pay taxes, they are required to provide this information to the public. So they can they can have it either way. They can pay taxes and not disclose it, or they can not pay taxes and disclose it. Are they specifically the ones that work with AI for AI? My understanding is that there's multiple offices here, correct? I believe this is just OpenAI. There's multiple. It's not just. The, everything's kind of dated, but there should be other buildings or other offices. This is the office listed on their tax oh, returns. Well, either way, I'm just asking, instead of just kind of arguing with the staff and shoving your way in, back and forth. I didn't shove anybody in. <laughs> can you let me finish? Sure. Is, is there a way we can do this civilly, where you can con get a point of contact? contact? Yeah, the point of contact is their accounting firm, and I contact them. Okay. Um, I think it's just, it's kind of like a double-edged sword because it is a it's it's a private property, so they can turn you away. They actually it, can't the, under federal law. Well, on private property? Correct. It's a public nonprofit. Right. It's a public foundation. But it's still private property. This is their but property. That's that like federal some, law some supersedes. They can't just walk in here. They can. Like they they can if they're asking for the tax. We're not. We're not going to argue about that. So. Um, okay. Well, I'm not going to leave until I get a copy of the tax return to talk to title. Please stay out here. Sure. Thank you again for coming, and I'm sorry. So he, he's asking for some... Uh, do you know what he's asking for? Yes. Okay, do you work for OpenAI? We work for security, but... We are not the contractor. Is OpenAI headquartered here? No. Where's OpenAI? Why does he think OpenAI is there? You'll have to ask him. Who who works here? I work here. We work here, but we're what's what contractor here? It's is there a business that works here? There's a can business we, here. We're this, not allowed. I'm, to I'm not trying to be rude, but can we stop dancing around? Like you, you call this here? You, yeah. Who, who works? Who, what company works My here? My name is Donald Lewis. I'm a contractor, a security contractor, and I work for OpenAI. Access control is my job to make sure that the people that come through the store either have an ID card to get in here or an appointment to meet somebody who works here. He's not an employee. He doesn't have anybody to meet here. When he showed up here, he told me, I'm quoting a tax law, Federal Law 26, and I want you to produce the tax returns for me. And I said, sir, yeah. I will take down your information. He showed me his driver's license, and I wrote it down, got his phone number and his email address, and I said, I will forward this through the proper channels. That's all I could do for you today. He says, that's not good enough. I'm coming in the building, and so I've been this, fighting him at this door so for half open, an hour. So this open AI work here? Sir, a part of it does, but this isn't the headquarters. Got okay? it. So either way, even if you came in there, you wouldn't be you wouldn't be able to give There's nobody whatever. There's here. Okay? okay, I'm the only guy so here. So is there somewhere you could direct? Is there an address we can direct him to? Not today. It's the day before Thanksgiving. No. Where's OpenAI headquartered? Well, that's really a wrong to the situation. No, we're not trying to play games. We don't it, know, okay? We're just people who work here. So there's, there's not like an actual physical location? You know, if there is, I'm not privy to it. Look, I'm a security guard standing on the front lines, okay? This man is an open eye, eye employee, all right? He's a very important employee for this company. And he's here today, but there's nobody else here today. For him to go and make a cold call, I, and I do this for a living, I've done it for six months, people want to come and is, cold is call. Is there a point of contact from someone that works at OpenAI that can at least try to help figure this out? Not today. It won't happen like that. There's nobody, there's, we don't have a trouble desk that somebody can come in off the street and say, I want your attention today. Who's your, who's your supervisor? My supervisor he is uh, actually the CEO of the company, so. And Sam Altman's not coming down here today to deal with this, I'm pretty sure. Is he 
Is there like an email address that he can provide? He knows. He's told me that he's tried to put this through whatever his businesses through channels before. And like I said, I would got his email. I will put his information through. Let our legal department, COO, whoever I need to, I will make sure that his information gets to them. Now, what they do with it is not anything I have control over. Hold on, I'll just make you away from the door because I don't want to record anything for the door. Are you trying to call that to the window? Sir, I'm trying to run a business here. These people who come and work here deserve to come through their office doors, come and go without being harassed. We get people who come in here and harass often. It's not just him. There's a lot of people that want to come in here and barge in and talk with people. But the company's not structured to receive it that way. So you don't have a walk-in kiosk where anybody can come and talk to OpenAI. It doesn't exist. You guys have like an HR person? We do. Do you have their, their point of contact? I have their name. I'm sure we could figure out the HR person's point of contact as far as an email or something. But I don't know what my policy is on giving out information, but I can tell you pretty, it's pretty low. You see what I mean? I'm not the information guy. I'm not authorized to give out information. My job is to work here at access control pass on the information through my chain of command and make sure that we let people know this gentleman was here and he had some business that he wanted to conduct concerning these tax returns. We'll put it up to the people that deal with that. Okay? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine with letting him know that whatever he's seeking, he's not going to get here. Yeah. But just like that, he's not going to be like, oh, okay, see you. Well, I know. But that's why I'm saying, is there someone that at you least can we tell can provide? Him there's not. We actually would like for him to be restrained from coming back here. Well, if you guys want to do that, you guys have to go to Forge McAllister and get a stay away order. Okay. For that. All right. We don't, we don't issue stay away orders. Right. That's Thank a judge you. that does it. Great. We'll do that another day. So today we just want to get through the day and have our employees be able to come and go at this site without being harassed. The public sidewalk, he can stand out there all day, but yeah. right up in here, and then every time somebody walks in, he's coming in, that can't happen. Right. Just have him go to the sidewalk. We okay. have people cold call this place all the time. I am a very person, per, a boring person. I have a bag of champagne, and I want to talk to Sam Altman. We don't take cold calls, and I know you're a very important person, right? Oscar Fisker came in one day, the guy that makes the Fisker electric cars. Okay, well, anyway, important people want to come in here and we just if everybody who wanted to come through the door they let through come through the door they wouldn't no, get I, I completely agree done. with that okay I mean I'm just trying a big to, part of what they do is research I'm just trying to figure out like a little middle ground for us to reach right I read on a day before Thanksgiving there is no person that he's going to be able to talk to. And even if it was a regular day, we were going full boat, and there was a million people here, I can tell you, and so I'm trying to explain to you, we don't accept anyone coming to any of our doors of the buildings that we work and make a cold call and say, I insist on you doing business with me or somebody from that bu business doing business with me today. Yeah. We politely tell them, sir, unless you have an appointment to meet with uh, someone who works here, that we can confirm, or you have a card, an ID card that gets you in the building, uh, then you can't come in. Okay. And, and that's kind of how we, we deal with it. Okay. And like I said, uh, he will tell you early on, I, yeah. I, I, yeah. I've been working yeah. with you for half an hour. He says, you're nice, you're professional with me. It's just kind of after 30 minutes of, you know what I mean, um, it's gotten critical where he's starting to push in past employees and now I'm concerned two or three times if he's pushing by me while you two folks are here, I'm a little worried about that. Mm -hmm. We all are. Let me try talking to him. I, I don't I don't really foresee that he will be just suddenly like, oh okay. I guess as long as he goes to the there. sidewalk, people wait out there all the time, just out the doorway. Give me one second. Thank you. Oh, okay. you can push. Oh, it's just a minute. This is Let easy. Me see.
Yeah. 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 Uh, what's your name again? Aaron. Aaron. Do you mind if we just talk to him? So, they're saying that whatever you're trying to look for, they yeah. can't provide it to you here. They can do it electronically. With, I, I don't I don't work here, right? I know. And, and they, they could be giving me the end around. I wouldn't know. But they're saying that no one here currently, the day before Thanksgiving, is going to be able to give you that. That's not true. I, I, again, I don't work there. I'm not. I'm not disputing it. That's what they're telling me. All I get is that's what space value is. Um, they're okay if you record here because even they know that this is a public sidewalk. You have every right to be here, right? But the moment you start going through. I think they're gonna pursue criminal charges Charlie, for trespassing, and yeah, and, 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 get okay. and that's that's not where, where we're gonna decide like oh that's not trespassing because that's not where we're gonna we're gonna decide that at court right, right? we're gonna let a judge decide that they're okay with you and the sidewalk <laughs> as long as you're not trying to go in with the right with so their employees. what about the federal law that says I have the right to this information. You, you have a right to request that information, and it even says it in that thing that you said that they have to provide it to you within 30 days. No, that's in writing. If you show up in, in person, it says immediately. Okay, the thing is, it doesn't sound like whoever is the person that can give you that information is here at the moment. Well, that's not so relevant. That's not for me to... That's, that's well, every, it, it is as, relevant as because every, you're requesting something. The person that can give it to you is not there. It's electronic. There's, there's, so can't you send them an email then? I already did, but I'm here in person. Okay. But they, they, they're telling us there's no one in there that can give you that information today anyways. They're just security Somebody, guards contracted by the... No, I understand that. So, you know what I mean? We're, we're kind of arguing with... You're, you're kind of arguing with them saying you're supposed to provide it for me. They don't have any way to provide it to you. You can make a phone call to Jason Kwan and he can email it to me. That's very simple. Well, I can't make them call someone. No, but the IRS then, requires them to. That's whatever they do. That's their choice. I can't make them make a phone call. But you can inform them that I have the right to be in the building, so that. that but you don't happen. have a right to be in the building. It's private property. It's you have a right to request the information that you're the requesting. That this, I, this is private property. Not to it, the extent that I'm it's requesting. It's private property. It's private public property. Public document under federal. Your request is totally legal. Trespassing is on. I have to make the request at their headquarters under and the law. And they explain to you that the person that can give you that information is not there. Right. And, and now we're just going in circles. Yeah, right. I, I don't think you're really listening to what I'm saying. But, I am. I don't um, think you're listening to me. Yeah. Either. I understand your argument, but it's not correct. Well, well I'm just going to ask you just one last time. If you're 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 fine by here, and I'm going to inform the same thing too. That if you want to stand by the sidewalk, which is public, like, public roadway, by all means. Uh, so your badge number is twelve twenty four. You could take mine too. We're, I'm from Mission Station. Okay. Yeah. You can if you want to make a complaint. Yeah. No, feel I'm, free I, to. I don't. Have, I don't want to make a I mean, complaint against you. I just this is really important. And I think it's important that everyone's clear on exactly what happened. I, I'm just here to make sure that everyone, I, I'm not disputing your claims, I'm not disputing theirs. I, I want everyone to get what they want. Sure. But right now it seems like we're at a stalemate and we're unable to, right. you're saying, don't give me everything, they can give it to me right now. I don't work here. They're telling me the person that can give you that information is not here because it's the day before Thanksgiving, right. which is a valid, I'm not saying it's true, but I'm, it's a valid point. No, I, There's a I, lot of places right now that they're closed already. I don't yeah, know. I, I don't make. The, I, I don't work here. I, I don't make the I rules. I believe them. I believe however, that people are not necessarily however, in this building. Right now, they're they're okay with you as long as you're standing in public roadway and not following in with the employees that come here. I'm just telling you I, this once. Yeah. I'm gonna tell them. Are you okay with that? Yes, I said. I'm gonna tell them that if it happens again, we're gonna come back and we're gonna go through the criminal route and we can deal with all this with a judge. Good. Any questions? I'm not. I'm again. I'm not disputing what you're saying, but it seems that like right now there's a stalemate. I mean, it, and and I, I I understand what you're saying, and I agree with you. I'm just telling you, as someone who knows a bit about this, that it's really disturbing to hear the police threaten a citizen with criminal charges for asking for public information under federal law. It's not, We're not for asking for information. It's for trespassing. But the trespassing doesn't. Well, that's what I'm saying. Sense. You can figure it out in, in the court yeah, because this right. is a private property. Okay, I, and I, I, so, I take your point. Because it, it's not about you. Well, the request has to be made in the building. I understand that. But you're saying so if they're people. refusing entry to the building, they're violating federal law. I advise them that. I advise him that he can be on the public roadway, which I think we all know that. Yeah. I told him that 
whatever he's requesting, you told us that there's no one here that can give him that information right now. It's the day before Thanksgiving. There's a bunch of places that are already closed. It's a valid point. I don't work here, I don't know. I told him that. Right. Keeps going back in the loop saying, so revise them, hey, are you going to be on a public roadway? He goes, yes. Okay. Anytime he comes back and tries to make his way in, we deal with it the criminal route, and we can all go to court and we'll let a judge decide right. what's right. So that point, uh, somebody all a visitor. Exactly. He's so, a different visitor. Um, yes. Sorry. Um, please give us a call back if he tries to come back. Thank you. He's been advised of this. Yes, sir. Um, this, is, this is a little frustrating because it's just going in circles. Yeah. We're getting the end around. Yeah. Either way, I mean. Same thing I've dealt with. If we could just get an incident number before you leave Officer Mall. From my records, an incident of your arrival today. Yeah, I could. You know, I, for, yeah. for this man. We could do that, yeah. and then we can always awesome. refer. We can always refer to that if you if you. Good. I I hope not. We have to write a report. But, but let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. Just based on him kind of going yeah. back in circles, there's probably a chance. But he's been advised. Right. Um, you can do that, and then if and you do thank you. call back, um, okay. Just you could refer to that same number. We'll do. I'll, I'll send get it to you. Uh, and then uh, thank you so much. Thank I'll you. send my man with you. Yes. To get a number. Okay. Thank you so much. It's got a heavy. Uh, it's this. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Was it this new? No, no. No. It's, it's the same. Door. Door. <laughs> no, the door. So it's not a case number, just because we're, we're on the fact that there's no crime that's been committed. Hopefully, not yet, right? Hopefully, because I don't. I think all of us just want this to just. We're not trying to go make this bigger deal than it is. Not at all. But so this is a CAD number. Every single time you call, uh, like nine one one or even an non emergency line, mm -hmm. it generates this number, which attaches like you know you're calling for this. So um, that's the CAD number. Um, my name, my star number, my partner's name, her star number. If he does, kind of return to that. Just give us a call. You can refer to this CAD number, and then the next CAD, because you called again, will reference this one so I have more information. And then we're going to write a little summary about what the issue is. Thank you. Sorry to do it. Yeah. This part Yeah. Um, the group of you just being on the public I sidewalk, kind of the same thing you said. Um, any questions? No. Yeah. All right. Um, I, I wish you the best of luck. Thank I, you. Appreciate you coming out. Yeah, of course. Be nice.